Hey guys, Harponer here, and welcome to Kerbal Conquest Episode 1. In today's episode, we are simply setting up the defenses required to keep us safe from the invading SI. Now, we have absolutely no clue who SI really is. All we know is that for some reason, both Bill and Jeb, and Bob, though nobody cares about Bob, they know who SI is. We don't. So, we're only hoping our defenses are actually, you know, up to the challenge of actually defeating them. Our technology should be fine. So this little creation here is the Heavy Defender. It is packed with 16 intercept missiles and a single goalkeeper Gatling turret designed to take out anything from beyond... 10 kilometers. I believe it goes up to 20 kilometers, but physics range is all a bit eh with it. So yeah, it's also defended with three smoke launchers, and it's got that weapon module, and here's a little, uh, little thing. <laughs> Show you everything that's going on here, 16.4 tons, 35 parts. It's very cheap. It's meant to be that way, so that when I have to replace it, if it gets destroyed, it will not be much a problem. Anywho. We are launching a drone to test to see how effective this AA gun really is. Now I must say, in this run, that the Heavy Defender doesn't even need a missile to take this thing out. Alright, just watch what happens. But for right now, let's adjust the course. Make sure we're going straight for the KSC and not slinging off to the mountains or whatever, or level off, all that. And now, let's see what's gonna happen. Coming in hot, physics range hasn't kicked in, so obviously things are gonna, you know, take a minute to kick in. However, once he becomes visible to that goalkeeper, things start getting messy for this little drone can see those tracers coming up and the first ones score a direct hit taking out the tail. This drone is out. There's nothing he could possibly do if he was one of SI's aircraft. This is awesome. One of the best defenses I've personally ever made. And thanks to North Curb and Dynamics, manufacturing things like this is pretty simple. We have set up these defenses, of course across every one of our territories in North Kerbin. And at the end, there will be a graphic showing how much territory we actually have. Um, I don't have a graphic showing each of the bases that I might get, but um, my, my 3D rendering skill should give you a good, uh, good indication of how much a Kerbin I actually own. By the way, that, that rotating Kerbin at the end and the intro to come soon, both made by me, not anyone else. So now, we have to launch a satellite. This satellite will scan Kerman, Kerman, really, Kerbin, for all of its resources. We want to exploit the land to defend ourselves. And if SI has any brains, which I have no idea, he will do the same. They... Okay, so in this series, just, just you know, coming, coming back to reality here, in this series, you need mining bases in order to gain the majority of resources. So basically what happens in this series is after this turn, in order to launch anything, launch any attacks, anything like that, it will require points or resources. And these resources can only be gained through owning bases, which gives one point per turn, and then owning mining colonies, which are two points per turn. And of course, each base or mining colony gives, you know, two or one point per turn per base, which compounds pretty quickly. And we have, you know, a way of calculating how much a craft costs and stuff like that. That's why low part counts actually do factor in a lot. It's not based on cost inside or, you know, what parts you're using. It's based simply upon, you know, the usage of uh, your resources. So, just quickly, 
burning ourselves into a polar orbit. <laughs> this takes a minute, so um, bear with me as I try to rotate this thing as it starts to exit Kerbin's atmosphere. By the way, Scatter is just beautiful. Too bad you get taken out of the effect by that weird ghost. I have no idea what that is, and I want to fix it so bad. But uh, enjoy the beautiful lens flare. <laughs> While I burn myself into an orbit. Come on. There we go. Just gotta quickly, you know, stabilize that orbit. Make sure it's a direct polar orbit and not, like, skewed. Whew. So that we're there, we can actually start doing our orbital burn. I know I've been saying burn into orbit, but you know what I mean. Transitions into the full orbiter burn right here. And this is where I have a little a bit of a like a pants on head moment. So I do the full burn with my booster stage. And I get into an orbit. But wait, I did that with my booster stage. Which means my satellite is now floating with my booster. <laughs> GG Harponer, GG. So now we're just gonna point this little satellite down towards Kerbin and do our survey scan. And we can jump to the tracking station once that done is to uh, see where the most resources are. And there we go. So the red and orange areas are with a concentration of 80% or higher. These are the only places we'll be able to set up resources, uh, mining bases, sorry. And it looks like we have richer concentrations in the north, but it's more abundant in the south. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, so yeah, we've decided that the first installation will be at Black Crags. A very good place to be, uh, you know. It's, it's defended by the actual base itself, it's pretty deep within North Kerbin territory, and it's at the foot of mountains, so it's not quite so easy to get through. So uh, we'll, we'll jump to that in a moment. Skipping over all the setup and launching off the transportation clamp that I've put on this thing We are now ready to set up the defense for the mining colony at Black Crags With one single heavy defense being the only thing actually allowed to defend this place We have to make the most of it So guard mode and all that is very necessary of course with any sort of defensive installment Naturally. Now we must switch over. Oops. It looks like our flag knocked over. We'll have to get one of the maintenance crews on that. Anywho, to the mining rig itself. It is a beautiful large machine that is extremely difficult to transport. So that's why I've cut a lot of stuff out. I've tried a lot to transport this thing. But Valentina has been trusted to man, or woman, the first ever mining colony at KSP, uh, in North Kerbin, excuse me, um, but the NKHC is not quite there yet, we just need to start up these harvesters, and there we go, Valentina's junior job from inside the cabin, nice and cozy, of course she missed all the part where she had to hook up a bunch of clamps and stuff like that, loud noise, I, oh, that was from the, <laughs> that was from the connector that came from the, um, the goalkeeper there. Whoops. I guess it was flying for a while. Anywho, that about wraps it up. We're getting a very tiny amount of ore right now, but be that's because Kerbin doesn't have much in general. Anywho, that's it for this first episode, and you'll get to see our beautiful outro in a moment, but until then, this has been a Harponer of North Kerbin Harponer Coalition, and we will see you in the second episode where we're hopefully not fending for our lives. Bye-bye, everyone.